What started out as protest and frustration on the streets of City Hall. So we don't want to continue this. You know, it's anti-Buffalonian. Not just mm. anti-black and anti-white, right. anti-Buffalonian. Yes. We're going to not only fight this as a process, as a flawed process, but the results of it are going to be fought too. Ended with jubilation for one Buffalo activist group. We know this was the right decision for the people of Buffalo, and we could not be happier right now. That's because the Buffalo Common Council decided to postpone tomorrow's vote on a redistricting plan. Our City of Action Buffalo director Harper Bishop says him and his group gathered in front of City Hall in the first place because there needed to be change. Right now you're looking at gerrymandered maps, you're looking at racially inequitable maps, you're looking at neighbors that don't preserve neighborhoods. And Harper believes the Common Council is listening. In a press release put out by the Common Council president shortly after today's protest, he says, quote, the council has decided to delay the meeting in order to provide more time to review and consider the details associated with the proposed maps and public input. The Common Council declined to give further comment. And even as excited as Bishop was for the postponement today, he says this is a win for the entire city of Buffalo. And he hopes that the city of good neighbors can become a co-governance with the Common Council and remaking the district lines. We can get together, we can roll out the maps of the districts, we can get into one place, and we can talk about the things that make sense for each community and how that pieces together to create a united Buffalo. James Catado, 7 News, Buffalo.